my dream and I will make this cottage um, my dream cottage. give you a brief description of what we'll be doing with the outside uh, we will be uh, building a shed here as we have a snowblower and lots of tools and just other equipment that we need to have stored we will be uh, trying to get rid of that hump as it is an issue in trying to park this area here is going to be for parking so we will be moving clearing some of the area on the left as well as this here some of that those shrubs will be cleared up to make room for parking we would like two parking spots preferably three uh, this area here is where we're planning to put the bunkie it'll be by the water where there was a pre-existing bunkie um, in front of the cottage here this is washing away we will be building a retaining wall there and we'll be clearing this area um, beyond in front of the trees there for the fire pit this is a boat launch area there's currently a floating dock there that's going to get moved over in front of the bunkie the deck uh, needs to be replaced it will be made wider as well as longer uh, to allow for more space both of these docks will be replaced the one with the chair is a floating dock we'd like to have it a little bit bigger the other one is a fishing dock it is fixed we'll clean that one up and uh, sturdy it up by the lighthouse we would like to build a box for flowers and then beyond those little pines uh, by the lighthouse we're going to clear up that area for a bench and some pea gravel to get a nice view of the lake this will be where the tree house will be built and we are really hoping that we'll be able to build a muskoka room above um, on the deck preferably um, for season we'll see we've already started um, just putting in installing the skirt for the crawl space it will come in front of the cottage here the skirt and that box will be removed because that's where the current pump is we are going to bring the platform on the right 
to line up with the platform on the left so that we have a safe entry into the cottage. And again, at the back here, the skirt for the crawl space will continue and will enclose the pump. These stairs are really unsafe. We would like to replace them with rocks as well as a rock retaining wall on the other side. Hi everyone. Um, so it's become clear to me that um, we may not be able to get things done in time before the freeze hits. Um, there has been a delay with uh, the uh, plumbers so they can't uh, come out to move the water pump until mid-November uh, and it's going to be hit and miss. The other issue as well is my car. <laughs> I don't I don't have a four wheel drive, so I have to rely on Elizabeth to bring me up. So there's also that scheduling. It's a multifaceted type of situation. But anyway, um, the weather is getting quite cold and I'm concerned that we may not be able to get them in uh, in time. And if that's the case, the other things can't occur. And for the tree cutting, I have to get a permit to take down any trees that are more than 15 feet away from the cottage and anything that's close to the shoreline. I've been trying to get a hold of the town. I have left numerous messages and I can't get anyone at all. If we don't get things happening within the next two weeks, uh, it's just not going to happen. And in terms of doing the permit, um, what I'm told is that um, uh, an inspector uh, has to come out to the property to see what's uh, what needs to be done and to to then um, advise how to proceed with the application. So I just, I just don't know if that's going to be able to get done. And if we don't have the heating installed, um, we can't have water in the cottage. We've been putting the antifreeze into the toilet and um, that sort of thing, but we're, we're concerned because it's getting cold. And over here, it tends to be colder than where I live. So we have to be very careful with that. I've been calling so many people and it's just, nope, 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 can't do it. Not till the spring. Uh, you need to leave your name and number. I'll get someone to call you. They're not calling me back. In terms of the tree management, the company that we ended up um, talking to is in Barrie, which is about an hour from here. Uh, and they're open to, to doing this. They figure it will take about a week. So I'm a little bit discouraged by that uh, because it'll definitely slow down the process quite a bit. Um, but it is what it is. And uh, if that's the situation, then we'll try to come up and do what we can um, and get a feel for the property. But um, that's the latest update.